Hello, in this video I would like to talk about turntable. Very very simple one, no electric, no battery needed, only human power. Why do I need a turntable? Well, from time to time I notice that when I 3D print some objects I would like to show it from every side. Going around it with the camera it is very very difficult, footage doesn't look good, so much better solution is to put something on something and which is roughly I think and camera is on one place. So what I did so far? I took a fidget spinner, I put it on the desk like this, it has center part, static part and around it uh, is the rotating part. So I put a small cap on it because it will sit only on the rotating part and another cap on it and then put a product and rotate it with this. It is very hard because it doesn't turn so good it's not centered. I use it in the first few videos and then I decided I will build my own very simple turntable. What will I need? I first I wanted to take out the bar bearings from, from uh, Fiji Spinner and then I noticed in this one it is very very small and it is not ceramic. So I ordered on eBay one. I was waiting one month before it arrived and here it is. The 608 ceramic bar bearing. Ceramic bar bearings are turning, rotating much better. It doesn't have to be full ceramic, but it is important the bars to be ceramic. You can recognize them; they are in white color. And around it, I will beat the rest. There will be a static part in the middle. It touches only the middle ring, and there will be a plate, which will go on top but touching only the outer ring it cannot touch the inner ring that's very important and one more thing has to be added to uh, this product some, some weight as far as possible from the center for example here why when you rotate it with your hand it will slow down too quickly and I need only one or two rotating speeds but nearly constant rotating to rise the turning rotating moment of inertia I need to add some weight and that weight has to be as far from the center as possible because moment of inertia depends of the weight and much more depend of the distance from the center so in my design I would like to add some the threads where I can screw them as M6 nuts in my design I will build a place for 12 M6 nuts and that weight will be something like that as far as possible from the center and uh, with this when I turn it it will rotate it will slow down much slower so I will get those two or three turns with similar speed okay let's see the design and these are my design steps in Fusion 360 I started with the ball bearing. I measured the distance of my ceramic ball bearing and I will build the design around it. I started with the plate and I added those treats where I can place the M6 nuts to get uh, more weight, more mass on, at the edge of the plate. So it will rotate more continuously. And then I added this static part. Uh, let me show you in section analysis. The design is very simple so basically uh, you can draw anything in two dimension and then just use a revolve function to get a rotating object. What you have to pay attention that this is the bar bearing and this is the outer ring so the table can touch only the outer ring it cannot touch the inner ring that's why I added here half millimeter distance for safety and the static part it can touch only the inner part uh, I add here 0 0.1 millimeter the distance just to be sure that that uh, barbering will go inside this hole if it's not tight enough then you can glue it but use it only here and here the glue be careful not to touch uh, the bar bearings or the inner ring and same with the 
static part if you want to stick it together but you, you don't have to then you can use here and here but a very very small piece of glue not to touch the plate or any other part so only these two parts has to be touched and also I created just a spare plate to put it on a, uh, on a top because sometimes I want to record a darker object and this one be in yellow color Okay, let's print it. six nuts and two 3D printed pieces. This is the these are the legs and this will be the plate. It's not so shiny anymore. And here it is, much elegant solution than my previous version with the fidget spinner. I noticed the 12M6 nuts for my ball bearing is not enough, uh, so I added some more weight. These are for M10 nuts, and now it is rotating very good. I can put some product in it and I will get at least five or six rotations with a similar speed and you saw the footage on at the beginning of this video how it looks like so I 3D printed this cover in yellow color so in case I want to record some darker object I can put it here If you find this interesting, you can download all files from my website, it's mytechfun.com and I hope I will see you in my next video. Bye!